gorgeous! I want to chat to you today about self-love. Now don't you go rolling your eyes at me. I know that this is a topic that I am bringing a lot of emphasis to right now. And that is because self-love was the game changer in my thrive. Except like so many high achieving women, I really couldn't connect to the feeling, the frequency, the tone of self-love. Probably because the last time I truly loved myself, I was around two years old. After that, I shifted into the little achiever, desperate to prove herself worthy of love, appreciation and acceptance. If you're anything like me and you either don't really know about self-love or you know, you don't want to ask about self-love because it sounds like something we should all know about. And let's be honest here, as high achievers, we don't want to look stupid and ask the mundane questions. Well, stick around, honey, because today not only am I going to delve deeper into what exactly self-love is, but I'm going to give you some powerful journaling questions that will help you unlock a greater capacity of and expression of self-love in your life. Hey, my name is Anel and I am the instigator of the Thrive Evolution for Alpha Females. Let's just understand that self-love cannot be expressed through words. It is expressed through choices. So often I chat to women and they go, of course I love myself, Anel. What are you talking about? I do my mirror work. I say my positive affirmations. I go to the spa every now and again. But when I have a look at the deeper choices that they are making in their lives, there is a disconnect which is why I understand that they are operating from their minds and not their beings. Self-love is the foundation of everything that we get to build our lives upon. We are born loving ourselves. That is why the whole aim of yoga is to assist the yogi in returning to an infant state of emotional self-love, self-appreciation and self-acceptance. I don't even remember when I switched from just loving who I am and appreciating everything about myself to being the little high achiever, always wanting to prove herself worthy of being loved and accepted. I don't even think about appreciation at that stage of the fight. I just wanted people to love me. And as I shifted into the high achiever identity, I in and of myself did not become lovable. I was not enough. I always felt that I had to add more layers to myself through accomplishments in the hope that one day I will achieve enough that people would look around and go, oh my God, you are amazing. I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And guess what, honey? That never happened. But in the process, I almost destroyed myself physically, mentally, emotionally, and most definitely spiritually. I had become so disconnected from the truth that we are born enough. That everything that we require to have an exquisite life experience is already inside of us just waiting to be mined like jewels from the earth. My turnaround came around three years ago when I was still in my exquisitely toxic marriage. 
and it was on my birthday and I don't want to go into the drama of all of the events of the day but I found myself lying literally on the grass in the fields sobbing my heart out and I just said to the universe I can't do this anymore I was so lonely I felt completely abandoned by everybody who I cared about in my life I felt completely unloved I felt completely unlovable and I didn't want to live this way anymore and as I probably lay there praying to say please help me I don't understand what am I doing that's so bad that my husband cannot love me I received the answer that until you love yourself you are incapable of receiving love I want you to really just let that sink in for a moment until you love yourself you are incapable of receiving love from another love is a frequency and if your frequency on the inside is not love but self-loathing even when you get into the energy of another who loves you there is no harmony there's a dissonance between you and you are incapable to receive the love of the other person and so started my journey a very committed journey to falling in love with myself the very first place that I had to start was to understand how my life would be different if I truly loved accepted appreciated and respected myself how would I eat different how would I train differently if I no longer felt that I had to prove myself but that I trained to adore my body to increase her health and vitality her flexibility and her strength how different my life would be that instead of just working with anybody who paid me I only aligned and partnered with soulmate clients who are fun for me to work with how my life would change if instead of being in a toxic relationship where I felt I deserved to be treated that way I insisted on the big romance of my life my dream that I've always had since a little girl and I have to be honest there was a time when I thought I was being crazy silly let go of it and today I'm so grateful that I didn't because I have met my king my gentleman my alpha dom my one and he is romantic as fuck <laughs> to connect to how radically different my life would be if instead of just allowing things to happen I would raise my standards to a new level that is absolutely non-negotiable I delved into these questions day after day and as I started going deeper and deeper and deeper I realized just how intricate all of these choices are I started to realize just how powerful these choices are when we make them from a space of true self-love versus a space of wanting to belong wanting to fit in wanting to be approved of and slowly but surely I started shifting slowly but surely I started making these new choices and in the process everything in my life changed 
I've decided to share with you some of the journaling questions that my clients in Unleashed Through Love do for at least 30 days. In fact, when you go into the download, you'll see that there is a 30 day checklist as well. Why? Because I know you're a achiever and I know you like ticking boxes. And I know that you don't like missing a box. <laughs> so we might as well just use that for your greatest and highest good and support you in this transformation. I'm gonna invite you to really delve into one question a day for 30 days. And then not only do the journaling question, but ask yourself from that space, what is one aligned action that I can take today in order for this transformation in my external world to start happening. Now, I also don't want you to get despondent. Please remember that what you see today is still the spill over from yesterday. So even though you are going to start feeling really different on the inside, your external reality might take a little bit longer to catch up. It's all good, darling. Stay with the commitment for 30 days. I would love to hear from you at the end of those 30 days what, if anything, has changed in your life? And I would be really surprised if you truly committed to doing this exercise for 30 days, if absolutely nothing changed. Honestly, darling, I cannot emphasize the importance of self-love in your life. And it is going to become more and more crucial as we are moving through this powerful human evolution of 2020 and beyond because truly the only thing that is going to keep you standing and thriving is love and that has to start with loving yourself otherwise you will not find harmony with love from anybody who wants to give it to you anyway and you will feel lonely for the rest of your life. I really hope this video has inspired you to just take a step back and to reconsider the importance of self-love in your life. I'd love to hear from you. So reach out to me, tell me what are your takeaways from this. And if you enjoyed this video and you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell if you want future notifications. After all, darling, only death is inevitable. Thriving it's always a choice of the alpha female. Cheers.